welcome back to Tea For Me Please. Today I wanted to film the long-awaited video of my tea stash. Um, in a previous video I showed you my pumador where I keep my poor tea as well as my tea fridge where I keep my matcha and Japanese green tea. Uh, but now I'm going to show you the rest of my tea. Um, I'm not going to go over everything individually because this video would be hours long if I did. Um, right now my collection is clocking in at about 240 different teas. But I hope you enjoy seeing my tea stash and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the teas that you see. For starters, um, you guys can see I use kind of a plastic three drawer system that you might get from Target or somewhere else um, to kind of attempt to organize the tea. Um, so in the top drawer I have tea that needs to be reviewed, the second drawer is tea that has been reviewed, and the bottom drawer is personal stash, so things I've purchased or things that I really like and want to keep. Um, because of my blog I do get a lot of samples, so this is the best way of kind of keeping track of all of those. So first up is the tea to be review drawer and I try to keep it organized by vendor if I can just to make it a little bit easier to see what I have. Um, this is actually a really small amount of samples for the amount I usually have in here um, but I've been trying to cut back um, so I don't have as much anymore. Okay, so these are teas that I've already drank, written about, um, or that I'm not going to write about. Um, generally those are far and few between, um, but I don't write about teas that I'm not excited about, um, since that's really difficult to do. Um, I've got a whole bunch of samples from Bitico here. If you're interested in trying Colombian tea, they're really awesome. Um, I also have a bunch of the class samples um, from my World Tea Academy classes. Um, as I still have a bit of those around. This drawer is a little bit of a mess um, since it is kind of personal stash. Um, I have a tea problem obviously so I do buy a lot of tea. Um, I also still have a lot of tea from my wedding favors um, so I'm kind of slowly sipping through that. Um, I also keep in here kind of Ziploc baggies and different things to share tea with friends. And I do keep tea in two additional places, um, is my shoe port and my hecha I keep in kind of these old plastic shoe boxes. Uh, they're old enough that the plastic smell has dissipated um, and this is how I used to keep my pour before I set up my pumador. Um, so in this one I have kind of all of my shoe pour, um, largely cakes but a few odds and ends as well. Um, I do keep a hydrometer in there just in case so I can keep an eye on the humidity level. It generally does run more humid than my Pumador does since it's not quite as sealed as the mini fridge is. And this one is for kind of funky weird hay cha um, since I don't have a lot of room there and I want to keep it separate from the shoe pour since they're just a little bit different. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my tea stash. Let me know in the comments how you keep your tea organized and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.